keep it moving now don't you see what i'm doing let's get it 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 over at Pineview, the Panthers hosted the Desert Hills Thunder. The Thunder struck first when Titan Morris took the handoff and busted out a 20-yard touchdown run. Panther quarterback Tyler Brown would buy some time with his feet and find his receiver down the field for a big game. Then it was Keith Adams who would finish off the drive with a two-yard touchdown run. On Desert Hills' next possession, Noah Fuilotolo would scramble to his left and punch it into the end zone on a big fourth down. Then this will bring us to our Jones Paint and Glass Play of the Week. Keith Adams would show off his determination as he would fight to get into the end zone to get Pineview back into the game. Desert Hills would answer as Titan Morris would break out and show off his speed for a 48-yard touchdown run to extend their lead. The Thunder would get the ball back and it was Morris again who would get a huge gain on the ground as he ran up the sideline for 78 yards before he was taken down on the two-yard line. But on the next play, it was Morris who punched it in over the goal line for the score. Pineview would move the ball in their next possession, but would have to settle for a field goal. Desert Hills would match their field goal and keep their lead at 21. The final score, Desert Hills 38, Pineview 17. Over at Dixie, the Flyers took on the Hurricane Tigers. It was Dixie who struck first when Shea Anderson would speed his way past the Hurricane defense and punch it in for six. Hurricane responded with a 10-yard pass from Jace Meacham to Dre Mendoza. Bronson Barbin looked to get Dixie back in the lead as he hit Blake Watson for a big play through the air. Then it was Anderson who would cap off this drive with a five-yard touchdown run. Later in the half, Barbin would connect again with Anderson for a 30-yard touchdown pass. And right before halftime, Seth Takao would bust a 20-yard touchdown run. The final score in this game, Dixie 57, Hurricane 6. At Cedar, the Reds hosted the Crimson Cliffs Mustangs. Both teams started off slowly on offense, each punching on their first possession as the game got going. Easton Drew Bay made the game's first score when he caught a 25-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Gunnar Ord late in the first quarter. Cedar struggled getting their feet with the slippery conditions of the field. Then early in the second quarter, Drew Bay scored again, this time on a two-yard run, and the Mustangs kept a 14-0 lead until halftime. Cedar got a big braid as they picked off Gunnar Ord in the second half. Cedar continued to struggle offensively throughout the second half or connected with receiver Braden Perry, who caught the short pass up the middle and ran into the end zone for a 36-yard score. The final score, Crimson Cliffs, 35, Cedar, 0. The Region 10 recap is brought to you by Finley Volkswagen, Infinity Title, The Rally Stop, Jones Payton Glass, Nets on Fire, and Intermountain Sports Performance. For St. George News, I'm Aaron Crane.